Uh, my name is Frank Pierce, Executive Vice President of Product Development at Blizzard Entertainment. Uh, I'm the executive producer on StarCraft II as well as World of Warcraft. Uh, so a big focus for us right now and a big focus for me is uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Um, but StarCraft II is critically important to what we're doing as well, so I'm involved in that also. The Activision Blizzard merger hasn't dramatically impacted the way we do things day to day at Blizzard. Um, certainly there's departments that, that uh, are affected by it like finance and human resources and public re relations. Um, but for the most part we're operating independently and autonomously as we did before the merger. Uh, and you know it's, it's really important that uh, a change at the corporate level doesn't impact the development teams and so making sure the development teams uh, are unaffected is a big focus for us. We don't do a lot of market research uh, before we start working on a product and certainly not before it's announced. Um, you know, we always view ourselves as our own target market. Um, so the development teams are focusing on making games that they want to play. Uh, so if they're really passionate about the game that they're making, uh, they're really emotionally invested in it and, and that helps ensure the quality of the product. Once people sit down and play Diablo 3 and they're having a good time, uh, there'll be a lot less focus on whether or not the art style is exactly what it's supposed to be. Because no matter what we do with the art style, we're not going to be able to please 100% of the people. We don't have any specific plans to do a complete graphics overhaul for World of Warcraft. Um, we have a very large player base, uh, big passionate fans, 10.9 active subscribers worldwide, and it would be uh, really foolish for us to do something that would dramatically change the system requirements um, because it's important that we keep the product accessible to our active subscriber base. Even though the game is almost four years old, um, we feel that you know we've somewhat achieved a, an art style that has a timeless feel to it. If you go play it on the show floor, there's a dynamic shadows and lighting right now. Um, so if you have the graphics hardware that's capable of rendering that, um, it, it makes a pretty good difference on how the game looks by enabling that feature. It wouldn't really be appropriate for me to comment on whether or not someone could be clinically addicted. I have a bachelor's degree in computer science and not in psychology, so it's not really my place to say that. Um, but certainly, um, you know, computer games, video games should be, you know, uh, partaken in moderation just like any other form of entertainment media. And we're very conscious of our social responsibility in that regard and conscious of our social responsibility as it relates to minors playing the game. That's why we've, in World of Warcraft, we've implemented parental controls so that parents can take a more active role in determining what's appropriate in terms of the amount of playtime their children spend playing the games. We recently added an alarm clock feature to World of Warcraft so that if someone wants to uh, more judiciously manage their time in game, they have that facility as well. When we come up with good ideas that we think we can leverage uh, to, to address that concern, then we, we certainly discuss it. We have a lot of people at the office that are uh, really excited about uh, someday in the future uh, possibly developing a new intellectual property. Um, but, you know, our focus right now is on the games we've got, the franchises we've got. Um, when these development teams roll off the projects that they're on, uh, they'll play an active role in determining what they work on next. And if one of the teams has a really compelling idea in a really compelling new universe, then that's certainly something we would discuss.